Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Mantis Wave Marvel's Death Head 2. Uh, this figure does not come with an actual Build-A-Figure piece of Mantis, but on the side here of the box it just shows a picture of Death Heads 2. And on the back, and it shows a quick little bio right there. And it looks pretty cool. This is actually one of the figures I probably wanted the most in the wave. I don't know a lot about him. Um, I just really liked how he looked. And the other one I probably really want is uh, Adam Warlock. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to complete this wave though. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get him out of the package and check him out. Alright, so here is, if I camera focused, his one accessory. He comes with an interchangeable left hand. And I'm not, since I don't know the character, I'm not sure if this is a significant... Uh, gesture he does or if it's just like a come here or <laughs> I don't know it's just kind of a funny funny gesture I'm gonna say he's going like this uh, otherwise it just look like come over here otherwise it just looks really funny to me but yeah just a just a little hand gesture um, it's got some nice line work on the sculpt otherwise just a blue blue hand all right so now getting the figure he looks really cool. Uh, got a, actually a quite a amount of detail, and he's he's a solid figure. He's big too. This guy's a, it's a nice nice size figure. Uh, but this head sculpt just looks awesome. I really really it really reminds me of like a uh, predator. Uh, just looks really cool. I really like the gold uh, paint applications on the front here. I like how you can see the gums with these you know kind of almost like Beta Ray Bill type jawline, kind of like almost like a horse, but not quite. Just, and then how you can see more of the jawbone on this side than this side. I just think that looks really cool. Like it's been torn off, but I think that's just actually how the character looks, if I remember right from looking at pictures. But I just think this looks really cool. Like how it's kind of stretched over the front here. You can see one uh, blue eye and one regular eye on this side. Very cool. Very creepy. And he's got kind of these red uh, kind of dreadlocks. Got a nice little black wash over him. That also reminds me of the Predator. But it's got these nice little spikes here that come around here and they're kind of, they're a little pliable. They're not, you know, they're not like a hard plastic or anything, but it's kind of more of a metallic light blue. But I think this looks really cool. Very cool looking figure. Really like this a lot. And then his body here, let's if I can, oh, not zoom out. Uh, it's just kind of like a, it is kind of a pearlized blue. It's kind of got a shimmer to it. It looks really cool. But the chest part's just blue. Same thing at the back here. Back's more kind of a flat, but still pearlized. Uh, on certain, like right up here, it looks pearlized to me. And then coming down the arms, it's got kind of more of a metallic silver, and it has a gold little straps right wrapped right around there, and then the fisted hand. So it's just got you kind of see some like the knuckle paddings and all that. And on this arm, it looks really cool. I really like how this looks. Kind of crazy looking alien blaster here, and it just kind of continues with that metallic. Uh, metal. I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments kind of tearing me apart because I do not know anything about him. <laughs> but it's got a really cool uh, sculpt to it on the side here. And I just really like how this weapon looks. It turns more into like a lighter silver as it comes out. But it looks really cool. Looks deadly. Very cool. And on the belt here, it's got kind of, the, almost looks like his hair. But it's just kind of more that uh, red wrapping around his belt. It's got a nice little black wash to it. And it's got like a little cup in the front. It's got some nicks and scratches, like someone's been uh, nailing them over there. <laughs> and then right here, it's just got the light blue, and it kind of, you can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here, it's kind of like a pearlized uh, light blue on the thighs there. And then coming down the legs, you know, this looks cool, I thought. It's got nice gold paint applications with these spikes sticking out. And then it kind of goes back into the flat blue on his boots there, or shoes. That's really cool. All right, so getting into the articulation, so his head looks up. Not very far because of his hair, but he looks down far. Uh, he looks left and right, no problem. Kind of has the little rocker there. Got ball joints in the shoulders, but they do, they come up about that, about that high. Good, good, nice and clicky. Forward and back. He's got an upper bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. Moves up about that much. No, it's like blaster gun. It moves up. About. So you can get him kind of. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a uh, wrist swivel. I'll also a hinge at the wrist. Straight this arms out. And then he's got a nice little ab crunch. Crunches forward about that much. Crunches back very far. 
Uh, it's got a waste swivel. And I can spread about that much. Kicks forward, not too high. It's got an up earth eye swivel. Nice double jointed knees. Uh, no boot rotation. Ankles move down. He moves up. He's got a nice ankle rocker and peggles the bottom of his feet. Alright, I'll show you guys how tall Death's Head 2 is. Alright guys, so Death's Head 2 stands right a little over 7 inches tall. So here he is next to the movie Drax. So you can get a kind of a comparison here. And kind of like the cosmic Spider-Man. So you can see he's a tall figure. And then we'll bring in the Walgreens exclusive uh, one, uh, Invisible Woman. So you can kind of just kind of get an all around kind of height comparison of how big this guy is compared to the others. Very cool. I just, I really like uh, how big he is. He's just a, a unique looking figure. Uh, you know, uh, just another cool villain to kind of add and definitely wants, makes me uh, want to learn more about him. But there you go, guys. Oh, I'll just go ahead and swap off the hand so you guys can... Go ahead and see that real quick before I end the video. I just don't see myself using this. <laughs> this 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 hand. I just I just don't see myself doing that. But come here, ooh, come here. I don't know, being stupid. <laughs> but there you go, guys. That's my review on Death's Head Two. Hope you guys liked it. I definitely think he's worth picking up. Uh, it's just a cool. You know, big figure for twenty bucks. I just, I just definitely think he's, uh, he's worth it. He's got a lot of detail and he's fun. Um, but yeah. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, take care. Bye. Hey everyone. So tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Wave with, um, oh, yeah. I can't remember her name. Mm.